Hello everybody, I am Brainman19 and welcome to a brand new series inside of European Universe Alice 4. This time we're going to be playing Castile, which may seem like something I've done before, because I have. I've played Castile through Spain a couple times before, actually. But this time I'm going to be doing it because there's an achievement that came out in a couple of uh, DLCs ago called the Forever Golden Achievement, uh, where the entire point of it is to complete the Spanish Mission Tree. Um, I think it'd be a lot of fun. I'd like to try it. I hear there's a lot of cool flavor added in and like I'd like to do it kind of before the new Europe update hits. So uh, I think we should just go ahead and jump on into it. I have all the DLC up to Golden Century enabled. Um, I have the Kingdom rank with Western Tech. We are Catholic, of course. And we're a kingdom. We have King Juan II to Trastamara. He is a 1-1-2, one, one, so he's not very good. We've got level 3 um, uh, monarch power across the board. And then we have uh, Castilian Ideas, Missionaries plus 1, and Morale of Armies plus 15%. We get the Reconquista, Yearly Army Tradition Decay minus 1, Spanish Inquisition, Missionary Strength plus 2, Cabildos, Production Efficiency plus 10%, Inter... Kayatara, uh, which is colonist plus one, Infantas, um, diplomatic reputation uh, plus one, and chance of new air plus 33, School of Salamanca, institution spread plus 10, and then Nueva Planta, which is monthly autonomy change minus 0 0.05, and then for all that we get Castilian Ambition, which is global settler increase plus 25. So, we have 30 promises to start out with, all in this little region right through here. We have a 270 development at the start and a, a level 5 fort level with a truce with Granada until February of 1448. So, anyways, Iron Man mode away. Let's go. We're going to call this one Golden Spain. I hit enter every single time thinking that's going to work and it doesn't. Yeah, so some of you might not know, some of you might notice here that, uh, well, this isn't actually being streamed live. I've been having problems with some switch issues so this thing's going to be recorded for a while and eventually it might make its way back over to twitch as i do some tests here and there um we'll just have to see but uh anyways so here we are the kingdom of castile in 1444 shaped in the battles of the reconquista the crown of castile is in fact not just one kingdom but a union of the kingdoms of castile leon toledo galicia mercia jain cordoba and sevilla under the Castilian branch of the Trastamara dynasty. What remains of the Moorish presence in Iberia is now restricted to the southern kingdom of Granada, still a rich Muslim sultanate in many ways, but also marred by infighting and the frequent border skirmishes with Christian raiders surrounded on all sides by Castilian cas uh, castles. It seems to be a matter of time before the Reconquista is brought to its logical conclusion and the kingdom is annexed. For now, however, Castile has problems of its own. Castilian nobles and the local Corte uh, Cortes of the various constituent kingdoms still hold a large degree of power, and many Trastamara kings have found themselves at the mercy of the states of their kingdoms. Factions acting entirely out of their own interests have not shied away from supporting foreign pretenders from Portugal and Aragon in the past. If the kingdom can be united by a strong rule and the Reconquista completed, Castile will have a fearsome military force in its hands with a long tradition of fighting for the expansion of the Christian faith. While Castile lacks the seafaring tradition of neighboring Portugal, they have just as good access to the Atlantic Ocean and the new trade routes that are opening up to the west and southeast. We are, of course, Catholic, meaning we get Tom's True Faith plus one and Tolerance of Heretics minus one, as well as some great stuff for uh, colonial regions to be just given to us, and other Catholics will try to not get into that. Um, we have Castile, we are a kingdom, of course, which, you know, with the monarchy. And then we are in Europe in the HRE. So here is our nice little Castile. You can take a look at it right here. Nice, large, has kind of a lot going on in it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these together. We're not making, we're making a little bit of money. But let me see, how do I want to do this? I start out with France, Burgundy, and England as enemies. So not the best start there. But let's see what our missions might line up to. The, the entire point of this is to complete this mission tree. So, first thing, let's see, what lies beyond the Pillars of Hercules? We have to have an explorer, at least one explorer. Then there's the Prepare the Reconquista, which is getting our manpower up in our force, to our force limit. 
And then there is getting all of Aragon. Um, we have to own all of that. What else is there? West African ports. Province in the Guinea region. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot that we can uh, get off and do. Unfortunately, France is going to come out disliking us. I think the best thing that we can maybe do... Surprisingly, Aragon likes us. And they have Naples. Now, while they could be an early target for expansion, I'd rather take that there. Okay. And there's Austria, who I would like to work with, if I could. Um, improve relations with them. Maybe we can get around to it. And then... How do I go about getting Portugal? Recover Portugal. Hmm. Let's see, I don't see anything into that one. Most of this seems to be like we need to be going west no matter what. Who else? Who would make a great... You know, I could take one of these guys and end up using them to uh, create a vassal up here in Ireland that would help me fight England later on. Hmm. That might be a way. We're going to try to get Austria, of course. Ah, oh, yes, Navarra. Why won't it let me do this? Oh, I can't send another offer just yet. Let me wait one day. There you go. A military alliance with Aragon. There goes one with Navarra. I could start lining up some guys. I don't really care for England. Next, I don't really care for Morocco. And I'll leave France for now. I don't really want to push it with him. Um, let's pull these guys together. Okay, making 240. Uh, let's wait a month and see what happens before I start adding in. Guys, there you go. An alliance from Portugal. Problem with being in an alliance with Portugal is that I can't attack England early. Hmm. First, some three restrictions giving us trade efficiency loss, or we could just make these guys lose loyalty. Let's make them lose loyalty. Tell you what, Portugal. For now, we're gonna do this, and then as I see a, if I see some place I can get in there and knock you out, I will. Um, yep. We have a dynast or your dynastic with them. I'm actually going to go ahead and open this up. We're going to say with our allies. They have too many diplomatic relations already. We might have to come around to them. We'll see. Okay, they have 4.18. So let's go ahead and fill out our military a little bit. There you go. Filling out the military is very important, of course. Start with 20. Alvaro, Alvaro de Luna. 
I think we got a really bad. Yeah, we got a very bad. Uh, here. Let's see if we can get rid of him. Even though he's like a pretty good. He's like really good, actually. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to subjugate Navarro pretty quickly. Um, manpower has got to get up to at least 60%. Got to get to the uh, Navy and Army force limit up to 100. We have COGS. An extra early Carrick would be nice. I think I just might build the Bark, though. There you go. Now we gotta let the manpower rise. Let's let some dr drilling go down. Maybe we can lose that air. Okay. See if we can build up a quick spy, uh, spy network. Maybe I can grab this. Nope. Looks like France is going to get it. I should have done that to begin with. I probably could have grabbed both of these before. You know, I could have gone to war with Portugal over it. Aragonese peasants. Uh, treasure fleet income, ship trade power, naval maintenance. I like this treasure fleet income. That's not going to pay off right now, but later on, definitely. Get rid of that so we're getting a little bit closer. Four, four, five. Then Diplo. See, I'd love to fight England and then come up here and take Pale or something like that. Just get something up here that I can turn into a vassal. Okay, claim on the board. Okay. How are we doing on the way to this? Manpower has just got to rise up. We get 202 each month. This will come eventually, and it's a small line anyway. Friends in need. Oh, we'll let that happen. That's okay. Um, it's this one that we really want. We need Tenerife, which is this thing. Yeah, right next door to our one of our current colonies. So colonists are going to be very important. They're not in Pretender Rebels. These guys are allied with Tunis. I'm waiting until 1448 really on that. We just want these four. And then I can maybe use Portugal if I can ever come around to vassalizing them somehow. Okay, 
Yeah, they have more than enough development. Otherwise, they'd be really close. Start improving relations with him. We got to get this quicker. Truce with Granada ended. Tunis would not join, but I don't have my claims. Weird. That's oh, because we got to still re get that going. Losing great power stats, it's okay, we'll get it back. One point eight three. Graham Ball and uh Toledo. Get us some prestige. Lose some ducats. I'll lose the ducats for prestige, that's fine. I don't have a whole lot, but something's there. As long as these pretender rebels are there, we've got a chance to. And as long as Tunis is being, you know, is under attack by, it looks like Tigort, we might be able to get some fun here. Military leader left us. Dang, the good guy. And a crappy guy was in his place. Wrong military leader. I needed the heir to die. So we're over 50%. Great. Now I've got a, a crap ruler on the throne. Okay. Personal union on our death. I want to keep that going. This is twenty away from happening. There's a queen consort. Maybe we'll get ourselves a wife. Maria de Mello, Regency for Philippe the First. Hmm. Let's take that. A little bit of missionary strength will be coming useful very shortly. Philippe is only two. There's a mission. Declare the... There it goes. Declare the war. We want to take... Laga. Run them over. There you go. Detach siege. Next one. There's a Renaissance. Detach. Send these guys around to here. There we go. Nice. First one. Honestly, the dis that's not worth it. Okay, come over here.
You do have a you do have siege. So we'll keep him on a siege here. Um You have siege as well, so let's give There you go. Yes, Aragon. Go off over here. Anatomical theater. Don't really care about losing innovativeness. Enrique, come back down here. Pass this. If I brought the ships out and around, how would this go? See, they have a siege now, but I might be able to add siege. It's got a bunch of trade ships. Yeah, there you go. We got a wall breach there. Let's send one cog to here to get that siege going. Or to keep it going, yeah. There you go. Negative 14, 7%. 21. Twenty-one and seven. Twenty-eight. What is this going to go to? Twenty-one. Okay, twenty-eight and twenty-one. Thirty-five. Thirty-five and twenty-one. Thirty-five. And forty-two. There you go. Big jumps. Laga has been won. Let's pull him off here. Okay, before they can come out and fight us. That's going to cause a coalition, but just with Granada. Let's take all the money. Pull those guys over to here. Make these into cores. Just reclaimed Andalusia. So we could change the religion straight to Catholic, lose to stability, or we can gain one stab. Now, and there's like no chance right this second to get it done. Just do it, we'll pay for it. I know it's early. That's probably the smarter of the goals right now. Okay. And we've already got Convert Iberia. So now it's looking like we could, should be going after uh, yeah, North Morocco for us. Changing these cultures to Castilian. Okay, let's get these set up. Um, Send them there. Send them there. Okay. That army is now ready. I could boost by one. Let's do it. Call the diplomat from there.
Oh, uh, you're a junior partner of Aragon. When did that happen? That'd be very recently. Anyways, they're all going to be junior partners with me anyway. Rather than not be junior partners, though, but hey. Looking for 103 or 106 now. Overextensions costing me a little bit. He took Laborde. I don't really care. Now then. I think we're good for now. I think that was a good first little episode. I wasn't expecting to really get to get Granada that quick. But it looks like it happened anyway. Um, they'll probably have some Separatists. We'll have to deal with. I'm actually going to go ahead and do this. That. That. And that. It'll eventually fix itself. We're not going to be making a whole lot off of them. Um, we'll have to do some culture changes down there. But All right, guys. Appreciate you all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out the link for Discord in the description below. And I'll see you all next time.